Right, ladies, we need to get a thumbnail, so give me best thumbnail reel. <laughs> Go. Yeah, next. Oh, yeah, next. I see another one. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to me walking barefoot to the start of the swimming session for today. Session one of two for the day, starting off with a swim. It is an absolutely cracking day. It is about 33 degrees, non-wetsuit. This is gonna be absolutely lovely. And of course, you know what I'm doing. You know your boy's jumping in, don't you? So let's get the camera rigged up and let's do a super sick dive. So today's session is going to be a warm-up and I'm going to try and do a 1k, I don't know about saying time trial, but I'm going to do 1k relatively hard and see how it feels. Let's go. Am I balls doing a TT? It is lovely out here. The only thing is swimming without a wetsuit, you go through like patches of warm water and then patches of freezing cold and it's like, ah! Anyway, I've done two big laps, that's about 1600 meters. I'm now going to do four times 50 hard, 50 easy. Absolutely classic session, I actually need to keep doing. But it's good to spice it up at the end, so stop procrastinating and uh, get it done. This for me brings a toe flow to its own. On the recoveries, I can just hang on and float around, especially with no wetsuit on, not as buoyant as I'd normally be. There's loads of people out, obviously keeping distances and stuff, but fantastic place. You see, look, everybody laughs at you at first and they all start doing it. Just a trendsetter. Let's, let's ignore the fact that they're all diving better than I am. Swim, done and dusted. I'll put the not very impressive stats on screen for you now. Um, I have already walked back up here, back to the car park. I left my bag at the side of the lake, so I've had to walk back down, got it, and now I'm going home again. <laughs> so yeah, good swim. I think I'm really benefiting from the consistency of two swims a week for the last five or six weeks. And here's a, here's a scary thought. Uh, where Liz and I are moving to, there is a pool very close by, which has just reopened to the public as well. So what if I stick at the swimming thing? Ooh, I can hear all the uh, elite athletes quaking in their boots. No, anyway, so uh, time to get home, have some tea. Now I'm gonna try and train on the bike tonight, but as late as I can, so it's a bit cooler. So yeah, see you later. I knew this had happened. I left it till about nine o'clock at night and I'm not gonna get on the bike at this time of night. I need some beauty sleep, man. Uh, Elizabeth? Yeah. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? You like it. Yes. Right, I'll give you a bit of an overview. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, those that follow the, the vlog daily will have known that Liz was very lucky in that she got a new pair of Physique R3s in black. And we went to a shop called Try UK, which is a triathlon shop in Shirebrook, not a million miles away from us. Tried on loads of, in fact, you tried on literally about 12 pairs of shoes, didn't you? I actually tried on the whole shop. It was a bit embarrassing, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the poor guy getting all his shoes out, I must have wanted to throttle you. <laughs> so you know how I, how I feel most of the time. Um, so we ended up with some physique R3s, they were great. Uh, the RRP was about 250 quid, but the price matched me wiggle at like 212. So I thought, yep, yeah, awesome, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, and then a week later, um, somebody or a couple of people dropped me a message saying, Oh, have you seen that Physique are now on sale at Try UK? I was like, Sorry, what? Come again. Um, so I looked on the uh, Try UK website and all the Physique shoes are on sale along with all the things. So I thought, Okay, bad situation, a bit frustrated about that. However, what can we do to make it a good situation? I know. Let's see what shoes they've still got left. So when we went to look at your shoes, shoes for you, there weren't actually any R1s in your size, were there? No. Um, and we're not sort of people that throw money around willy nilly, but with cycling shoes, I think get the best ones you can afford because you're going to use them so long and all that all that impact on your foot, you know, getting the good quality ones, it will, will pay off. Um, and there were some R1s online. Liz got black shoes. I wanted to just get white, but you were concerned that they were going to get mucky. And I said, well, you just buy new ones when they get dirty, but you said not. So anyway, long, long, I'll say a long story short, but I actually made that quite a long story. Um, there were some R1s in white in Liz's size online. <laughs> so picked up a pair of those, didn't we, for you? And they were actually, the RRP was £324. I don't know if people need to see any more angles of your feet. Um, the RRP is £324. And they were 120 Something like that? 130, something like that. So basically a massive discount. And then of course, I had to look for some for myself, didn't I? So uh, there were no R1s in my size, but there were some R3s in a size that was half a size smaller than I wear. And I've tried these on, I think they might be a little bit snug, but I'm gonna give them a little go. Basically these are R3s in white. So uh, yeah, the R3s have got like a black strip on the inside. Yours, yours are fully white, fully aren't white, they? Yeah. Just, just lift them up here for us, mate. 
I'm winding you up, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the new shoes all don't around. Don't wait for the next video when he's telling you they're for sale. <laughs> <laughs> giveaway joking I think I've got money to burn anyway so uh, yeah very happy that would be a good giveaway yeah it would be you're right yeah we haven't got money to burn no. um, so yeah new shoe day very happy for the new shoe smell rather than my stinky feet smell are you happy with those now yeah are you done now buying shoes is that yeah. enough are they summer shoes then yeah, these can be summer shoes mm -hmm. summer shoes and race shoes good should we also talk about the t-shirts that we're wearing that yeah. running sucks running sucks so I did over over lockdown and well, in fact, is that, in fact I think it was actually the beginning of this year. Uh, did the uh, the vegan cyclist Tyler Pierce, who's on YouTube, uh, he did like a, a 100 well 101 mile ride on Zwift. He did them every four weeks for a while, and if you did them and you completed it, you got put in a draw, blah blah. And I won a hundred dollars, blah blah. blah. I won a hundred dollars worth of uh, vegan cyclist kit. So we both got a uh, running sucks ride bikes and actually get somewhere T-shirt. Thanks for that. Uh, you got some Ride Bikes Bro socks and I got a Ride Bikes Bro hoodie. So very, uh, very much looking forward to repping the Vegan Cyclist brand. Yeah. Is the Triathlon Dan merch dropping soon? People keep saying sweatbands. Let's get some sweatbands, <laughs> yeah, headbands. Cool. <laughs> I've got no logo though. If anyone wants to make me a logo or even a brand, hit me up because I've got no idea. Can you do that sort of thing? No, oh, that's what? not my forte. Oh. <laughs> if you're a girl that knows how to do that sort of thing, you want to... <laughs> <laughs> Joking, right. Uh, anyway, that is it. That is the end of today's video. I know I've only been for a swim, but I have got a few events coming up, so perhaps hitting the training hard every day isn't the best thing to do. There we go. I've justified it. Mm. Thanks, Liz. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. You say it. Oh, why? <laughs> they might do it if you say it. <sighs> Subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yes. See you tomorrow. And like the videos. Yeah, 4pm tomorrow. Bye. See ya.